It can be challenging to become familiar with the process of creating animated content. In terms of 2D animation programs and techniques, Moho and Adobe Animate CC both have a lot to offer. In this video, I'll be discussing the best software for working with animations, Moho versus Adobe Animate, so you can determine which better suits your goals or way of working. Consider subscribing if you find this video helpful in deciding which app to use for your work. Some of you must have wondered what kind of software was used to create those short films that you see on YouTube and other sites like Vimeo, where people upload their works creatively from home, using minimal equipment as if they were pro filmmakers. But first, let's backtrack. What exactly is animation? Animation is a way of moving pictures. Inanimate objects such as animals or people walking on their feet can be given life with simple drawings, or they can be depicted in intricate detail. Edwin Carnegie's motion picture projectors were first patented in the early 20th century, at Thomas Carnegie's request, so they could both earn money from publishing films with them. But that's history now, right? Our opponents today are far more interesting. As the revolutionary new animation software that it is, Moho lets you create, edit, and render 2D rigs with your laptop within minutes. It's ideal for TV shows and web series alike. Moho also offers incredible control over every aspect of motion graphics projects, such as creating reusable assets, like characters that can be reused across projects while keeping their originality. Something which is not commonly seen today thanks to the ease of use features that simplify complicated tasks. On the other side of the comparison, we have yet another tool for the creative professionals, which is Animate CC, a program that allows you to do limited animation in which individual character parts can be swapped out. You're also able to use it as a puppet framework and pose characters without redrawing them from scratch. It's not the typical animation program. The tool can be used for low-budget productions with a tight schedule, like TV shows or web series, since it uses time-saving techniques common to this type of video content. While Adobe Flash was still known as Animate CC, it was the only viable way to create web animations. With no barriers to entry, Animate is a program many prefer to others on the market today because of its easy-to-use features. If we look at Animate CC and Moho in terms of key differences, you can count on Moho to provide you with technical horsepower in terms of character's reusability, inventive content, and rigs for powerful characters. On the other hand, the Picasso of animation software, Animate CC features, include animations telling a story, hand-drawn animations or puppets, and websites with interactive content. It's very important to comprehend the principle and theory of animation with these programs, including understanding the tools and formats of a given program, as well as how it can help you deliver your intended project. Moho specializes in vector drawing tools. Although it does have bitmap drawing capabilities, you're more likely to import bitmap artwork created by another program. There's a variety of tools you'll likely use, including the rigging tools, which work great for vector and bitmap art. Drawing with Adobe Animate, on the other hand, is very different from drawing with Moho. The program provides a series of vector drawing tools for creating scalable, crisp artwork with a small file size and relatively little memory usage. The interface may take some time to get used to if you're used to programs like Photoshop or Procreate that use bitmaps for drawing. The vector tools in Adobe Animate are different from those in Adobe Illustrator, which means they're better suited for freehand drawing. If you're concerned about vector tools being too clunky for character animation, know that Adobe Animate works differently from Adobe Illustrator. Now let's look at features in animation. First, you have animation based on frames. Animation, at its heart, is a series of frames created with digital tools. This can be achieved using Animate CC. Moho's frame-by-frame -frame capabilities may not be its strongest point, but they're still a valuable feature nonetheless. For the rigged characters, Moho is a highly sought-after product because of its rigging capabilities, 
Due to its extensive array of advanced rigging tools, it's capable of providing both intuitive, easy-to-use rigging procedures as well as an advanced complex pipeline, if necessary. The Smart Bone system makes it possible to create rigged characters that look and feel like they were hand-drawn. Looking at the opponent, once you get the hang of the character rigging features in Animate CC, you'll have no trouble building a character fairly quickly. Additionally, there are other factors to consider. Many different effects can be applied to layers and drawing elements in Moho, including shadows and color changes. It can be difficult to figure out how to apply the different effects from the interface, since they're applied from different places. Many effects cannot be rendered live in Canvas View, so you'll have to render a lot of preview renders before being able to see how your effects appear. One of the ways that Animate CC differs from other animation software is its ability to publish content on the web. Aside from SVG, HTML5 Canvas, and WebGL animations, Adobe Animate also supports other formats. You're capable of creating interactive videos, games, and ads. Aside from animated ones, the most appropriate tool for that would be Animate. When it comes to the pricing, currently, Moho offers two versions. You have Moho Debut and Moho Pro. It's recommended that you use Moho Pro. Two of the Pro version's most important features are Smart Bones and Smart Warp. The rigging by Moho is great because of these tools, and I highly recommend them. Pro also includes features like size limitations and 3D object support, which makes it an excellent tool for creating serious animations. The debut will cost you roughly $60, while the Pro will cost you around $400. If you don't have a Creative Cloud subscription, you cannot access Animate CC. Animate will cost you roughly $21 per month if you choose the annual plan. Of course, it's going to be paid monthly. But if you pick the prepaid annual plan, it will cost you around $239. So when choosing between Moho and Animate CC, what factors are important? If you're interested in rigging puppets, Moho can bring you impressive above average results with an average learning curve. In addition to frame-by-frame -frame animations, puppet-rigged characters or limited animations are a good option if you want to learn animation or save money. In my opinion, Moho is much more of a purpose-built tool, which emphasizes rigging and character animation. It's also capable of handling frame-by-frame -frame animations. Moho is much more of a learning curve if you're coming from Photoshop or Illustrator, as it operates differently. If you learn Moho, you can however rig characters super fast. If you're a DIY enthusiast or an animator planning to work on your own, Moho could be a good fit for you. It may be more cost-effective to offer a one-time price than to continue Adobe subscriptions in the long run. Before choosing a tool, make sure you consider the work that has already been done. Exactly what are you hoping to accomplish with your own animation? In the fight between Moho and Animate CC, which one took the prize? Adobe Animate is the undisputed leader in the battle for animation software. It's powerful enough to create some of today's most impressive creations, but also easy to learn, so even beginners can take advantage. You'll be able to use it as an introduction into how professionals do things when they're looking at their work through different perspectives or angles that help them make better decisions about future projects. So, if you're willing to pay the high price to get this tool, it's definitely a good purchase. We hope you found this video useful and informative. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.